I'm Jennifer Robertson. You can call me Little Jen. I'm a master trainer and a group exercise instructor with 24 Hour Fitness. It's amazing that we can work out anywhere. So from my home to yours, let's do a 15 minute full body circuit strength conditioning workout. We're going to start with warm up and we'll finish with a cool down with the training in between. All you need is yourself, no equipment needed, no music. So play your favorite music in the background as we work out together. Thanks for 24 go. Let's get started. Stand up nice and tall and strong and start the march on the right leg. Go. Please take everything to your own levels of strength and flexibility. I will give you options to vary up these exercises so it feels safe for you and strong for you. Most importantly, have fun and keep that body moving. Four, three, two, step, touch right, left, and reach and pull. Working upper body to lower body to warm up those muscles and get blood flow through the body. Four, three, two, butt kickers, step and curl. Heel to your behind. Move those arms back and squeeze your middle back. Open the chest. Four, three, two, step right, lift left into a knee lift. Reach and pull. You can stay straight ahead or add a little rotation. Four, three, two, one. Step out nice and wide, go into a nice steep squat. Hold into a nice cat stretch, rounding your spine, tuck pelvis and chin under. Work into cow. One more time, keep the shoulders down, <laughs> breathe in, breathe out, and roll up slowly, one vertebrae at a time. Stand nice and tall, begin on the right, left side, four, three, two, go. Four, three, two, step, touch left, reach and pull. Four, three, two, leg curls, reach, heels back, squeeze your back, keep your abdominals strong, you're looking good, feeling good, getting that body warm, ready to go for our workout. Four, three, two, left step, right knee, with a twist, or stay tall and straight. Four. Three, two, one. Good job. Grab a quick drink of water. We're going to start our circuit less than 10 seconds. All right. Now that we're warm, we're going to get into our circuit. Step nice and wide, mid to wide, and what's comfortable for you. Heels on the ground, shoulders back, chest up. And begin your squats by sitting hips back. Stay on the heels, protect those knees. Keep your abdominals in to protect your low back. Shoulders down, chest open. You can reach and pull with the arms. You can put the hands behind the head. Chest open and lifted, shoulders down. You can cross the chest, same thing. Chest open, lifted, and shoulders down. Or hands simple at the hips. Four, three, two, one, step into a nice neutral position, going to the right for a side lateral lunge. Ready, set, go. Heels on the ground, sit back into the side. Protect the knees, staying on the heels. Keep those abs in to protect your low back. Adding a little bit more work and calorie burn, reach and pull. Two more on each side. All right, we're finishing with lower body and core. Now we're gonna to head to upper body and core, taking it down onto our mat. We have a push-up combo, so we're gonna start with four push-ups and do side leg touches or jacks. Wide arms, chest between thumbs. You can take it on your knees or up onto your toes and go. Four, three, two, and side touch out. Right, left, find a rhythm, good. And four, four push-ups, down up, knees or toes. So I'll show you the option on the knees with the side tap. Four, three, two, one. Push-ups, four, three, 
two, side touch or jacks, four, push from the hips, out, strong core, and one, good, quick release, setting up for shoulder taps, arms below shoulders, knees below hips, begin your shoulder taps, you may progress into a modified plank, or a full wide stance plank for stability in the lower half. Three, place the arm right below your shoulder, work upper to middle back, and nice strong abs. Last one, release. Back to high plank, combo plank to upward facing dog. All right, keep the neck long, retract shoulders, tighten the abs and lift the hips, push away from the hands, heels close to the floor, and work back to plank, lining the hips with shoulders and spine, and repeat. Option, from the knees, sit back, puppy dog, to a modified plank. We have one more to go. Now finish in the upward facing dog, and then climb the legs towards your hands. Bend the legs underneath you, hands to thighs. Roll up slowly, one vertebrae at a time. Ready for our second set in our circuit. Return to a mid-wide stance into our squats. Ready, set, go. You guys are doing great. We are halfway done. Inhale nose, exhale mouth. Keep that good posture and muscular engagement as we move. Nice. Five more. Three, two, and one. Now step into neutral position and step to the left this time. And go left, side, right. Reach with the arms or keep the hands at your hips. Always stay on the heels and sit back and away so you have that support in the knees and in your low back. Eyes forward, chest up, and shoulders down. It's very important to keep that good posture as we move. Good alignment through the body. Two more each side. Inhale nose, exhale mouth. Last one each. Good job. All right, we're gonna take it down into our push-ups once again. Arms wide, knees or toes, strong core, neck long, ready, go. Four, three, two, and side touch. Out in, out in, good. Four more push-ups, knees or toes, two, three, and side touch. Four, three, two, we got the last one to go. Four push-ups, and you get to pick. Side touch or jabs. Go, four, three, two, one. Good job, release. All right, set up for those shoulder taps. Pick your position. Arms below shoulders, knees below hips. Modified plank or full plank wide. And go, 10. Nice, squeeze those glutes, tighten those abs, keep your spine long. Look straight down, you can do this. If you started on your toes and you're tired, keep moving, take it to your knees, right like this. Four, three, two, and release. Good job. All right, our high plank to downward facing dog combo. Here we go. Set up on knees or toes. Keep shoulders retracted and that spine long, abs strong, and begin. Slow breath into the top. Oh, that feels so good. Work slowly back to a neutral position in your plank. And again, up and down. This is a nice finisher in the circuit. Three more to go. Beautiful. Again, belly button in deep. Lift those hips. Keep the shoulders away from your ears. Last one. And come all the way down to the knees. And roll up. Give yourselves a big hand. But we're not quite done yet. We're gonna go into our cool down and flexibility, which is so important to finish our workouts with. 
So we're gonna stay on our knees. We're gonna reach those arms out. You're gonna sit back towards those heels. Now heels don't have to touch your, excuse me, your hips don't have to touch your heels, but sit far so you get that nice reach in your back. Thread the needle, left arm under, and twist. Slow your breath in, nose out, mouth. And switch. And reach. Roll up slowly, one vertebrae at a time. Come up high up on the knees. I'm gonna face forward, forward to you. Line the knees below your hips, step forward with your left foot, line the heel and knee so you have a good balance, good alignment, hands at hips, push the pelvis up and the hips back so you get length in the front of your hip. And then work that right arm all the way up with your shoulder down, a nice long torso. And you feel a nice little stretch, mid thigh up the front of your hip and up the side of the body. Return to neutral with your hips and take your front heel forward Reach for the floor into a nice stretch. Now working down the hamstring into your calf. Keep the toes high and reach as far as you can to the floor. Even if you're on your fingertips, you're doing a great job. Roll up slowly and we switch sides. Knees under hips, step forward, line up knee, ankle. Tilt and reach and breathe. All right, return to neutral and kick that front heel forward. Reach again towards the floor. Nice stretch down the back of your leg with a slow breath in nose and out mouth. And roll up slowly. All right, taking it onto our back side, going into a glute stretch. We lie on our back, neutral position in the spine. Take your right foot, cross it over your thigh. Pull that left thigh in towards you. Try to keep your shoulders down. Now you can stay fully connected to the mat or you can round. It's your preference there. Just keep length in the neck and shoulders down. And switch. Nice. And release. Straighten out, roll to your side facing me. Take your top foot and pull it behind you. Now you can always use a towel here. You just want to get a nice stretch on the front of your thigh. So instead of standing, we're doing this on our side. If you need a little bit more assistance with balance, you bend the bottom knee. You can also lift the head up or down, depending on how you feel at the neck. Release, tuck those knees in. Work to the other side. Good, all right, use that leg if you need a little bit of balance. Keep your center strong while you're doing this stretch. And keep that top knee close to your bottom knee so that way you get a nice straight line down the hip to the knee for a good stretch at your quadricep. We're almost there, you guys, but this feels good, doesn't it? The body deserves this after a great workout, even if it's a short one. Short ones are good, just as good as the long ones. Depends on your time. All right, roll onto your back. Okay, knees in, arms out to stretch across the chest, and then knees tucked in, and then rotate to your right and look towards your left and give a nice stretch. All right, work back to center and switch. Knees to the left, look to the right. Keep stretching from the sternum through shoulders to fingertips for the stretch across your chest. And then also you get a nice stretch all the way down your back to your front side from neck to tailbone in this torso twist. We'll work back to center. The most important thing is we get a big hug because you all deserve one. So give yourself a nice hug. Rock yourselves back up onto your toes. Work heels on the ground, hands to your thighs, roll up slow, one vertebrae at a time. Stand up nice and tall. Do one big breath in with me and exhale. Nice work, you guys. Thank you so much for working out with me. You did great. Keep moving until next time. 
I'm Little Jen.